Welcome my beautiful Leos, Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and this is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 24th to the 30th, 2022. Starting off in your first row here, you've been given amplify your positive emotions. So it's very imperative and important this week that you allow yourself to feel positive energy. Don't allow yourself to bring in any negativity around you because it's only going to bring you down. And what we throw out into the universe comes back and it comes back tenfold. So make sure you can maintain, um, you know, being happy and sending that happiness from your heart. It's going to benefit you and those people around you. Um, you know, adjust your attitude and your motives right now. I think you're going to be thinking about, um, you know, trying to amp up uh, your happiness here. But I think you're going to have reason to be happy because I do see celebrations coming into you this week. Um, you know, this is a great card that says you're going to be able to have fun and enjoy yourself. Now, you're going to, here it is. Look what I just said. You've got the Four of Wands. This is all about celebrating, getting together with others, having a happy event coming up, being, you know, dumping any emotional uh, baggage so that you can free yourself to kick your heels up and enjoy yourself. Um, this could have to do with, you know, some something that you've accomplished and you need to celebrate something that you've got. Maybe some of you got a, a you know, you got your, uh, your diploma or a credit or your master's in something at school, a scholarship. Maybe some of of you are celebrating that you're moving into a new home or a housewarming uh, gift. Uh, all of these things can come into play here when we have this card, but it's also the card of congratulations and the blessings that are going to come into you in the form of your future improving here big time. You might have had to struggle though and defend yourself. There were times when you wanted to give up and I don't think you should give up. Don't roll over. Don't allow oppos opposing energy or the opinions of other people or naysayers to try to rain on your parade. Keep going for your goals. Don't give up because that's the only way you're going to find your happiness and you're going to find your goal here to to uh, to celebrate so you know as you move through the energy this week there may be times where you know you have opposition here uh, that comes up in front of you and you see this big wall in front of you well you're going to have to think how you're going to get around that wall go around it or go over it so be sure not to back down stand up for what you've created here so that you can revel in it and celebrate it you've got the beautiful card of the star oh wow seeing light at the end of the tunnel being able to make long-term plans, celebrating again. Wish upon a star, my beautiful Leos. Uh, you know, this is the, the sky's the limit here. So I do think that you're going to see, uh, you know, great energy and positive energy shining down on you this week. So I like how this reading is going already. It's unfolding really well. And again, reason to celebrate. You've worked hard for something. Three of Wands, that's what this is about. Okay, being able to celebrate something. Moving forward here, you had the Four of Wands of Celebration, and now you've got the Three. So I do think that you're starting out on a new journey. Um, you know, you're seeking something new. You're going for what it is you want, and you need to have an open mind to do this. You know, it, it's beautiful that you now can go forward in this new direction. So don't be afraid. Watching for your ship to come in. You're, you're doing your work here, going towards your goals, and I do think you're going to be able to... Uh, see this coming into fruition now for others you could be having to go the distance for your job you might be uh you might be moving in a new direction you might be having to travel farther for your job maybe it's just that you work virtually internationally with people now the four of cups says keep an open mind the only thing holding back you back is you you need to know that there's opportunities and possibilities that you need to be aware of so this is saying don't again don't give up on yourself um, there's doors opening for you to be prosperous to be uh, to to go out towards I mean here you are being offered the gift here the proverbial gift coming in towards you and you're you, you're not seeing the three cups here waiting for you to go get you're only seeing one thing here so keep your eyes open I do believe there could be opportunities coming in that may be different from what you thought you'd, you'd want to go for. So keeping your minds open is some, and, and taking something on that you didn't think you could do or want sometimes is a blessing in disguise. In hindsight, you look back and you go, wow, I'm so glad I did this because if I didn't, where would I be now? Okay, your next row is marriage. So some of you may be, um, you know, getting into a partnership here. 
uh, with somebody where you're going to be getting engaged. Perhaps there's actually going to be a marriage, a long-term commitment coming in. I always look at this in a general reading that it doesn't necessarily have to be romance. It could be a marriage in a business, okay, uh, where you're partnering up with someone and uh, you're signing legal papers to take on this job together or this career together as well. The next one you've got is a justice card. And the justice card comes in twice here. Big, 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 big mirror image here. So justice is going to be served. I hear the gavel come down and it's going to be waved in your favor. If any of you have been dealing with any legal issues uh, up to this point, I think you're going to see there's going to be a fair distribution of a settlement, whether it's property, whether it's custody, whether it's money, whatever the case is, I think you're going to uh, the, it's going to be a fair playing field, leveling field here, okay? Sometimes we have to think about compromise, but I do think justice is going to be done. For others, I think maybe you have a female, because both of these are female, you could have a female advocate here, a judge or um, or a lawyer that is has been fighting for you here, and I think she's going to be the one that saves the day. Coming in here in your next row, you have the communication is key card. So pay attention now what you're doing, how you're discussing things, how you're speaking to people. Be articulate, okay? And make sure that you're being truthful here. Make sure you get your story conveyed in a truthful, tangible, integral way. Um, you want whoever you're communicating with to get the point. Okay, so I think if you, you want to clear any unresolved issues with someone or you want to sell and promote yourself to do something here in your career, make sure you sit down and you lay everything on the line that you want. Okay, so it's clear and concise. You're going to be able to see the energy of the Empress coming in because she has that ability to give birth to her dreams. She steps up and goes after what she wants. And she has that ability to um, do it in, in a... She thinks about her moves. She's not the emperor. The emperor is in charge of everything, right? He he has that ability to just take control and go out on his own. He jumps in with both feet. She is the feminine part of him, and she's strong. Don't get me wrong, but she has this ability to, in her own way, create her own happiness and her own fulfillment. I love how she is depicted here with the, the earth and the world, looking like she's pregnant, ready to give birth to, to a child, or ready to give birth to her career and her aspirations and her desires and her dreams so definitely I do think that you're going to be able to see things coming into you here um, you know she wants happiness luxuries she wants all those things and she goes after them so I think you're going to be stepping up here communicating with someone to make them know what it is you want again you've got a card here of disappointment you have the five of cups and it's all about crying over spilt milk don't dote on the past okay let it go it's history you can't change it you can't you can only learn from it so right now, I think Leo's, there could have been something in your past that you keep going back and reflecting on. Uh, it could have been a disappointment and you could be asking questions like why. Uh, let it go because, you know, the universe is sending you a message here that you have the ability here to create and give birth to your new dreams. I do believe that you're going to have reason here to celebrate something. So stop allowing yourself to get up in your head. Amplify those positive emotions this week. When you start to feel down or you start to think about the past in a situation, let it go, okay? Um, it's all normal that we do this, but you need to let it go in order to keep those doors of communication and positive energy flowing and opening for you to go towards this beautiful abundance that you can reach out and get. Now, your final row here is you do have the keep the a romance card here, and it says keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, um, you know. Some of you may have met somebody new. Maybe some of you are out on a dating site. Maybe you've kind of poo-pooed uh, someone who's making, uh, offering you, um, you know, gestures towards you uh, to promote a relationship. And, you know, this is saying keep an open mind. Uh, share dialogue. Communicate here. Communication is key, remember? Um, before you judge a book by its cover, I think you need to get to know them. Okay, you've got the judgment card here. Not only did you have the justice, but now you have twice, you have the judgment card. And that's all about a, a, a situation that you've made an assessment of, a fair assessment of what was, and now you're getting a second chance to go towards something. Maybe this is a new relationship here. Maybe you, you know, you've realized and you were crying over spilt milk over a past relationship, and now you're able to go forward uh, into a new relationship, being open-minded. Maybe it's a friendship uh, relationship. Sometimes we meet 
people that we think, ah, they're not really my type, but then we find out, wow, I'm glad I got to know them. So whether it's in a, in a friendship, platonic, or a, a romantic one, you're getting a second chance to go forward. This could be a second chance at going for a new job, a new relationship, a new partnership, for your career, any of those things. It's a general reading. Now, you've got the devil. And the devil is the card of the ego and it says let go of those chains get rid of them that are holding you back from moving forward towards this new relationship towards a new friendship towards this new career towards uh your prosperity here um some it is a card of addictions um and that can often be addictive behavior you know negative thinking over obsessing workaholic overeating whatever the case is um i think you're coming and making a decision now that you're not going to do this anymore okay you're clearing that path so that you've got clarity to go towards the goals that you want and i think you're finally doing that for any of you that are involved in with someone uh in a relationship that has addictions know that no matter how hard you try you can't make them do something they're not ready to take responsibility for so i think a lot of you are going to be washing your hands of that moving on realizing that you can't change other people only yourself Okay, Leo, this is a pretty great reading here, pretty intense too. So maintain your stability of positive thinking here. Don't give up uh, when things start to slow down. Um, you know, keep your options open and your eyes open to the new possibilities coming down your path. I think you're going to see something is going to work out in your favor here this week with the Justice card and being able to go forward in a new direction as though you've been given a second chance to do something here. But when you're conferring with people this week, communicate clearly. Let them know exactly where you stand and what it is you want out of this situation. Whether it's to do with a job interview or to do with a, uh, a friendship or romance relationship. I think you're showing your light. You're shining your light as a star here. And you will see prosperity coming in here. Because with this beautiful empress, that's what you want. And you're going to celebrate something beautiful. I like it. Well, my beautiful Leos, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. Know that I send you many blessings and much love, and I'll see you soon. Music